Hello everyone, welcome back to the continuation of my Premier Draft Theros Beyond Death draft run. We're one and one. And uh, something that that I learned in the last game is to remember how important it is that Final Flare requires me to sacrifice a creature or enchantment. Because I have very few creatures, or relatively few, I should plan to sacrifice enchantments, which means I should not be so keen to activate the scrying ability on my omen cards. Okay, this is fine, I guess. It's not amazing. But I can do something. Yeah, this, this deck doesn't have enough proactive stuff, I feel like, is the problem with it, which I knew when I was putting together the deck from what I had already drafted. Um, but it was kind of hard to adjust to that in real time as I was picking cards. It was just kind of like picking stuff that was good, you know? This is actually turning out pretty okay because I can actually use Omen of the Forge here. I'm going to do it on my turn instead of the opponent's turn just so the blue guy doesn't have a chance to um, counter it or whatever. Blue-black. That's self-mill is the synergy this deck has, although, like, doesn't mean that's the deck he's building. So I could activate this scry here, but I won't. Really? I was hoping you would let me play a final flare here and use up my mana, but okay, it's not happening. I just have a ton of removal and no proactive stuff. Okay, well, whatever. There we go. A five mana card. All right, a fifth mana. That's all I was looking for, really. Opponent finally drew a creature. Also seems to be short of land somehow. That's interesting. I'm a little bit scared, actually, to play my creature right now. What counter spells are in this format? Whirlwind Denial, that's one, but that costs three. I know this is the four mana counter that we have in the deck. I'm not sure there is a three mana counter, so maybe, or a two mana counter that can counter creatures. I think I should play this. Before he gets a third mana back. Okay, it worked. Okay, that's the way you want to play it, huh? Really? Didn't I just show you I don't have anything to do for four mana, so I'm happy to replay this? I feel like you just threw away your stern dismissal. <clears throat> like, I'm, I'm happy to do this, it's fine. Okay, now you're gonna make me sacrifice it. Sure. But you could have done that anyway, right? Either way, I lost this creature, but you lost two cards instead of one. I wonder if I should have waited till I could play a really sick Storm's Wrath before playing another creature. Try to bait out some more stuff from the opponent? Probably not. But I probably should not... Well, actually, I could commit this because it doesn't, um... <clears throat> it doesn't... die to Storm's Wrath. I'm going to go ahead and attack here. I have a flash first strike, don't I? Yeah, both of these are flash first strike. So my opponent may be tempted to block with both of these, trading my 2-2 two, two for a 3-3. Three, three. 
or his 2-2 for my 3-3. Three, three. But if so, I will punish him and he will trade nothing for my 3-3 three, three and lose both creatures. Nope, not happening. Fine. The opponent is aware of the possibility of tricks. All right, you keep putting it back. I'll keep playing it. I don't mind. <clears throat> this I have a slow hand. If you're going to make me do it that way, that's fine. You're not really chipping away at me fast enough to make me worried. Um, four, seven mana, this plus two. So I can play this plus nothing, or I can play any two things. I think I want to play this plus nothing, right? Counter? Oh! Counter! Well done! Alright, I should have been a little more careful. Um, the four mana open is, is actually something to be a little afraid of because of memory drain. Yeah, that's true. I talked about that earlier, but then I forgot. That's why I'm a bad player. So I'm ready to zap out a final flare against that, probably, right? Just so it doesn't ever get to go off. And also I want to see what happens with this prophecy, so I'm just going to pass here and start being able to block damage. Transcendent Envoy. I don't know what that card is. It's a 2 mana 1 2 flyer that makes auras cheaper to cast. Sorry, go ahead and cast this. Okay. Pass. You're all tapped out. I pass again. Okay. Now the question is, do I cast this now when it cannot be countered, or do I wait? So the opponent wants to play a one, he wants to spend two, four mana next turn. I don't think you're going to be able to have a counter spell available after that that will still handle Storm's Wrath. So I think I should just, well, but I'll still want to react to the Staggering Insight with a final flare anyway, I guess. Hmm. We're not attacking. Yeah, I think. I think I should just clear while I can. I should have swung, see if he lets me get in for three damage. I don't know. I probably should have just let him actually hit me with the Staggering Insight if he wants, and then get an even bigger clear. I was scared. But then then I wouldn't have been able to clear the 3-4 with it, right? So... I don't know. Okay, 
I think I'm playing this. He could counter it. That wouldn't be the end of the world. Don't want an island. I do want a creature. And let's play this first. I don't think it's important to keep mana open to remove stuff this turn. If he wants to hit me once with a Staggering Insight, that's fine. Oh, he actually gets to see what I'm drawing, so he knows I have that. That's kind of funny. Yeah, 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 okay. You got me. I'm staggered. Oh! That's a big dude. I'm actually not sure what to pick here. I guess I should probably pick um, Arena Trickster and not play it till next turn. If he counters it, I'll be kind of sad, but that's life. What I really want to do is get Ichthyomorphosis out now. And he already knows I have the Arena Trickster, right? So. Oh, I can actually sack this. Hmm. Nah. I want to look up the rules for how sacking, how, how sagas resolve. Does it disappear as it resolves or after? So I want to remove this and leave this up. I'm not like in love with it or anything. Um. I don't attack. Yeah, that's right. Okay, pass. Now I can flash in an aspect of Manticore to kill this guy. Uh oh, that's scary. I hate Planeswalkers. Plus two, plus one. Okay. It is, it is highly scary, don't get me wrong, but I think I'm actually like kind of okay right now. Okay, that's one threat resolved. And I can actually, if I want, fly over this thing, I believe. Fly over this stuff to kill the Planeswalker, that is. Oh! Oh, this is target creature. So, I, yeah, I can't use it to get this. I don't think I should fly over this. I think I should be willing for him to block with a 0-1 if he wants. And he'll get a little more value out of this guy, but that means that uh, I can get more value uh, on some other stuff. Right, I can develop another trickster. Well, you know what? I don't know how. MTG <clears throat> Saga Destroy Counter. Can you disenchant a Saga on the lore token trigger? It goes to play. Does adding that first lore token use the stack? That's the different question that I wanted. MTG Saga Destroy Rules? Comprehensive Rules, I'm not really ready to read that. Abusing Sagas? Does the Saga still trigger after you... Mm, no. Ugh. All right, I'm not sure how it works. But this ability is not that important, so I'm just gonna 
get rid of this thing while I can do so safely. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this. This is a lot of draw for him. I don't want you getting any draw. A 3-4 flyer is pretty cool. So we're going to flare this away as well. And develop this, but I guess not right now. What I have six mana? Yeah, so I can I can't play trickster plus anything. So I would want to play this guy first. You go here, keep this back to block. I'm sorry? It has escape? Holy shit. That's so busted. Okay. I mean, it does cost six to escape with, but he doesn't have anything else to do. And you have like 15 cards in your graveyard. I guess it doesn't have a plus ability. I didn't notice that. Those, those are all minuses. Do I really care about some tokens? I mean, I kind of do, because eventually you're going to have enough of them to swing at me, right? So I think I should uh, go in with my 3-3. Three, three. Threatening to kill it. Maybe I should start going face, huh? This feels scary because I only have one blocker left, but I'm about, about to play more. And I want to start threatening lethal, so you can't use these blockers to, to try to kill me. Or these, these tokens, rather. Do I play another, or is that committing too much? You could have Shatter the Sky. If you do, I'm pretty dead anyway, I think, because of this Planeswalker, so let's commit more. No, I'm dead! I was dead anyway. Just attacking with this killed me. A Flash Flyer was not something I was considering. My play was wrong, though. Like, I could have held back an attack, but then I wouldn't really be threatening lethal and he could just keep grinding out that Planeswalker. I don't know. Planeswalkers are so gross. There's so much value. 
And one with escape is just it's illegal. So what is the state-based actions rules resources? Okay, that's interesting. Abilities that watch for a specific game state saga. If the number of lore counters on a saga is per is greater than or equal to its final chapter number, and it isn't the source of a chapter ability that triggered, but not yet left the stack. That has triggered, but not yet left the stack. Okay, so it's not destroyed until after the ability resolves, which means you can respond to the ability by sacrificing it to... So I, I could have... Okay. I could have had one more... Um, One more. Look, I wish I had some blue, but you know, it's not like I knew I was gonna draw my one, my blue one drop. And it's not the end of the world to be missing this. I think there we go. I could have had one more enchantment left if I'd sacrificed things in a different order, but that ended up not being much of a deciding factor. I think. Oh yeah, of course, Boffin. It ended up not even mattering that I drew my blue too late, because this guy has haste anyway. And he wouldn't have had late haste last turn if I could play him, so... Okay. I mean, we... We traded stern dismissal for something. Oh my god. This is, this is not allowed. I don't have anything to do anything about this, by the way. Like, there's stuff in my deck, but I don't have it right now. We talked about this card being totally busted while we were drafting, and that's because it is. I really need to get removal for it extremely soon. Or I will lose the game. Like, I practically need to draw a final flash, like, right now. Final flare, whatever. If I do draw th that, though, I think I'm okay. I'll play an Arena Trickster, and then... I'll play Final Flare, sacking this to kill that guy on his turn, before he actually gains the plus from it. Okay, that didn't work, but good news, we're gonna draw it next turn. Uh, I, can, I can say that confidently, because if that doesn't happen, I will lose. Oh, I'm so stupid! This is an enchantment, but it's actually a removal. <sighs> that was actually the answer I needed, and I just didn't even look at it. It would have just killed this thing. I mean, maybe he would have countered it, but... Uh, I threw this game. Although, to be fair, I think I was going to be in bad shape anyway. And this doesn't have flash, so it's not like I can use it after blocking. Oh my god. This is mega over. Well, I mean, it is. Oh, I didn't notice that. It only needs a target that you control. After it enters the battlefield, it triggers an ability that targets an opponent creature. See, so it's, it's less conditional than I thought it was. Actually, if I can survive one more turn, I can remove this, I think. Yeah, with these two.
But I can't do that. I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. But I don't have the creature anymore. <sighs> well, let's play a blue spell before we go. I actually had the answer to this thing, and I just didn't notice in time. Because I played a different card instead of looking at the ones in my hand. Bleh. Well, another one and three performance. That's what we're coming to expect. I think I was in bad shape that game, right? Like, I don't know. I think so. But if I'd removed that the Kraken, it's a Kraken, right? Then I could have eventually used my Wave Rider or whatever it's called to block his flyer by flashing in some first strike. I think I could have recovered as long as he didn't have anything more insane coming up. So definitely very much a throw. Like I wasn't gonna, I wasn't winning, but I could have been not losing. Uh, and instead I chose to be losing. So I don't know. That's that's the, uh, the advantage of experience, right? You make fewer plays like that. And I don't have the experience yet, so I make more of them. Oh well, live and learn. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.